date is May 8th. Actually, they've been telling us to tell everybody the end of May so that people don't start calling and asking. <laughs> Yes. Oh man, I just love, I love babies. I've, I've loved them my whole life. I'm just looking forward to, I mean, it's all unknown. So I'm looking forward to this new adventure. What went through my mind the first time I held Julia? It was complete satisfaction. Absolutely, truly the happiest day of my life. And I'm going to cry now. <laughs> I'm already going to cry. It's only the first question. But it's, I know, but it's the truth. <laughs> getting married, <laughs> graduating college, all those things, but having the baby is the number one thing. It's the truth. And my little Amelie here is 15 months, and she is the greatest thing that happened to us. I love her so much, and she's just so funny and just brings joy to every day. Huh. Like you are the most selfless person I know. This baby is so lucky. I, I wish I was your baby. <laughs> So I appreciate how much she's always there for me, um, always there for last minute things. Um, anytime I have a problem, she'll like rush over to help me and stop what she's doing. Um. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna cry too. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I mean, the most amazing memories are childhood memories, you know, of holidays and trips and things like that. And to be able to experience that all over again yeah. with with your kids and you know jump back into all that stuff that you used to love I'm super excited for that and I think you have those qualities your kids would have the greatest time with you <laughs> I mean non-stop laughing all the time <laughs> like I can be in the crappiest mood and Amanda just starts with her amazing seagull laugh and it's like you just can't stop motherhood has taught me to try to be a better person every single day I think that's the most important thing to be a good role model to her. I wish I called my mom more. That's like a guilt of mine because she, especially when you see your friends going through this to create this human being, you're like, oh my God, my mom did that for me. Like she carried me for nine months and then raised me and I don't think I let her know as much as I should of how much I appreciate all the things that she has given me and taught me and done for me. So I love you, Mom. <laughs> and thanks. <laughs> That's why you get your mom manicures and massages and things, because you're like, go do something for yourself, for yourself. today. Yeah. And uh, so true. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I mean, moms deserve that stuff every day. For Mother's Day, I want to tell my mom that um, I'm so thankful to have such a wonderful mother who's always been a big part of my life, um, someone who's always there for me. And, you always be like my best friend. For Mother's Day, I want to tell this little girl that I love her so much. Ooh. Thank you. And that I'm going to try to be the best mother that I could be. And my mom had always told me that I'll never understand how much she loves me until I have my own child. And I never really thought much of it. Um, it's just a saying that she's always said after having Amelie I finally know what she meant all this time 